Hi, Days fans. It's Saturday, January 16th, and we sort of got just finished watching Days. Amy's up in New York again. That's why there's only one of us. Say hi, mm -hmm. Amy. Hi, everybody. So, Amy, right, did you I watch it? I got to go sledding this morning. You what? We got to go sledding this oh, morning. Oh, very good. Did you watch it on YouTube or on regular television? I watched half of it with you on regular television before we left, and then I watched the other half on the Dave episode page. Very good. Okay, so let's jump in because it was a huge episode, and I want to start with EJ. I love oh, yeah. the naughty EJ, the bad conniving, uh, making horrible plans for people. To <laughs> so this is what he's doing with Sammy. And, and there's, there's no hope now that there could be some innocent reason behind his motives. He has made it clear that he wants Sammy to live in the hell that she created for herself. He wants to get payback, and he wants to have a chance to raise this daughter that he never got to have that same chance with Johnny. Here's what I think his plan is. I think that little uh, serendipitous run into Rafe at the pier at the very end of the show was planned. So yeah. he's going to make it look like Rafe screwed up the ransom drop and Sammy is going to hate Rafe and they're going to break up and she's going to fall into EJ's hands. Oh, you are so right about that, JB. I, I agree with you 100%. It was too random for them to show up exactly yeah. that way. So he... He so planned how did it. He get Rafe, how did he get... But how did he... How, how did he get Rafe there? Who knows? I mean, there's easier ways. He can have an anonymous phone call telling Rafe that there's something going on at the pier. God only knows. But... Do you see the smirk on EJ's face when he was leaving the room with Sammy to go to the ransom? He is practically yes. giddy. He's, he's, no, I think... Oh. This um, EJ reminds me of the EJ when he first arrived on the show and he was doing, like, embryo switches and screwing around with people's cars. This is the EJ that I like. Shooting yeah, John. I, I really I think people will prefer an evil EJ. Yeah. And and we get to see his tender side still with Sydney, so it's like the best of both worlds. Right. That's what keeps people sucked into the to the EJ as good, even though he's a, a really a bad guy. So well, how awesome was that Sydney's first steps yesterday? I still remember that with our little one. Yeah. Um Well let's talk a minute about Carly and Melanie. Melanie is at a point now where she really feels the void of not having a mother. She's finally explained what happened to her own mother. Perfect explanation. Her mother died when she was really young. No, no, she really didn't. This is Carly. She already hates Carly. She thinks Carly's a bad person. Now she's going to hate her even more for letting her grow up child or uh, motherless. Mm -hmm. How are they going to get past this? How are they going to make it through? But, you know, you, along, I was watching an old show, and you were saying... It is imperative that before there is a discovery of a mother-daughter, they must, what, hate, hate each, each other. other. Yes. So you mentioned this many, many months ago, and here it is again. They have to like, build up the hate between Melanie and Carly before they can come out with a reveal. Same thing with Billy. Billy hated Kate, and then um, Melanie, or not Melanie, um, Chelsea thought Billy was kind of creepy, such the same as Carly-Melanie dynamic, because Billy... Billy didn't even know it was her daughter. She just felt like she wanted to be a mother figure to to um, Chelsea because she felt bad for her. So that was even more creepy. And then it turned out she was the mother. So, yes, the hating each other is definite prereq. So um, Carly's not really keeping a good poker face. I mean, she's practically all into Melanie's business, and she's a complete stranger, basically. So. But I, it's going to come out in days. It really oh, yeah. Yeah, I want to know who the father is. Even me is asking Melanie who the heck her mother is. So do you think that there's any chance that Trent Robbins is the father? How did we get on this path of Daniel? Did we find out from a spoiler? Why are we? I think so. Daniel? And they were at a well, they know each other, and they went to a medical conference. Yeah, that's true. But you know, I've gone to lots of conferences, and I haven't walked away with a baby in my womb. Well, not at a conference on days. Yeah, well, I went to, we went to J.D., but I'm not pregnant. Well, that's a, that's a little different. <laughs> Let's go to Victor um, and Vivian. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, Victor is mad as a hornet. Oh, oh my. Yeah, mad is not the word. Destroy her. 
And even Vivian, Vivian who lays in the dirt of someone's grave, <laughs> the mound over their grave, like just ecstatic, rolling in the dirt, you know that flashback they showed? Even she looked like Victor had gone too far. L what is her, her name? Louise Sorrell? Or what's the... Yeah. Name? Awesome actor. I mean... Yeah, she is. She's Broadway material. Yeah, she is. Kind of, that is some talent. And... That is some serious talent they brought in from the bullpen. And that was a very smart move on Dave's yeah. part. You know, I didn't know anything about her. I, I, you know, complete skeptic, but she is delivering. And so, good move, Dave. I'm, I'm definitely liking... I think I think Dave, Dave realized that people wanted to see more of Johnny Aston, and he's got a lot to still bring. And they thought about pairing him with um, Caroline. I think that's part of why they killed off. Um, Boring. Off they don't. They, there's just no magic between those two. It's all sweet stuff. Well, and Victor's and, not and that Victor, sweet. Victor can't be bad with her. So right. He, and then bad. Be someone back. Yeah. If he's yeah. not bad, he's boring. So this is a perfect, uh, perfect storyline for Victor. Um, let's see. How are we doing on time? Oh, I have no idea. All right, I think we're still okay. Yeah, I let's think we're... talk a little. What? What about the team going to the Olympics? Oh my God! What is that? Gabby is going to go on a trip to Vancouver with this boy. That would never be allowed. Would your parents allow you to go to Canada when you were seventeen and and stay with a boy? Well, if the parents were there and there were two other teenagers... Oh, the parents are going to be there? Oh, okay. Yeah, and the, and the fact there's two other teenagers who are not yeah. dating, you know. Also, um, also, um, you know NBC is the network that does the Winter Olympics. Right. Plug, it's a little plug. There every day. That Kinsey <laughs> is a weird-looking girl, but, you oh, know, yeah. she does a good job of acting ditzy. It, she pulls it off, so... Good for you. A lot of people say she looks more like Carly. If she were the one to end up being <laughs> Carly's kid, that'd be interesting. Yeah. All right, what so else? What else? What else do we have for we got today? Any oh, Will, Will and Mia back again. Well, sort of. I don't know if that was... Um, but she can't decide who she wants. I don't think no. that... I don't think that's going to last very long. So. There's a lot of not knowing what guy you want to be with on days, I'll tell you. <laughs> to have these choices is a real puppy. All right, well, David, we better wrap it up. All right. Oh, oh. You see, do you see little people? I do. All right, the couple that watches days together. Days together. Bye-bye. Bye, honey, I love you.